One of the main focus of our research is trying to understand how the human pancreas is made and which genes are involved in this process. And we believe that understanding how the human pancreas is formed is very important because we know that the pancreas in humans is different from other species like mice or rats. And we can understand exactly how the pancreas is formed in humans, then we can try and replicate this process in the lab to generate insulin producing cells that can then be used as a therapy for diabetes. We've used a technique called genome sequencing to analyze the DNA of children that are born without the pancreas. So this is a very rare condition uh, that is caused by a single spelling mistake in one of the three billion letters that make their DNA. So by using genome sequencing, we could read the whole sequence and we found 11 children that were born without the pancreas and all of them had a spelling mistake in the same gene that surprisingly was found to be present in apes and in humans but it's completely absent in other species like rats or mice. So this discovery was really surprising for us in a way because up to this point we had thought that a process as important as making a pancreas would have been very highly conserved through evolution. So this is opening questions like what the, is this gene doing in humans and apes and is this a new function that is uh, not present in other species and also are there other genes that are present only in humans or only in apes and humans that are important for making the pancreas. This discovery has led to a very uh, exciting collaboration between the University of Exeter and also the University of Cambridge and University of Helsinki. And we're all working together to try and understand more about the function of this novel gene and also try and see if we can use this new knowledge to make a better insulin producing cells in the laboratory.